Hi guys, Amber here for Talk To Me Tuesday for, well technically it's actually Thursday at this point. Um, I'm going to move my glasses up simply because um, I got new glasses. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, but one of the things I didn't do on them this time is I didn't get the anti-glare, which is causing it to glare off the screen and everything. Um, but it was $50 more. And they said, well, with the glare, it looks like this. And they showed me a picture. And they said, and without the, see, with the glare protection, it looks like this. And without the glare protection, it looks like this. And I said, honestly, when I look through my glasses, even with the glare protection, it glares. So um, I'm not paying 50 bucks for something that doesn't work for me. Um, but anyway, um, so top of the head they go so that, it doesn't glare off and you guys end up seeing alien eyes so um I have stuff done I I do and I did not prepare well I I did not prepare well at all um I got some stuff done this weekend um I basically from Friday evening to Sunday Oh, it's a Monday morning. I did not leave the house. I'm not even sure I changed clothes, to be honest, until like Sunday evening. Um, so that I could do some sewing. I did a lot of prep work for stuff, um, which is oftentimes it's the thing that takes the longest is picking out what colors I want and cutting the fabric and everything. Um, so um, I did that and oh, <laughs> my. My uh, escape from the asylum is still on my wrist. I went to our local museum today uh, because I'm giving a lecture in Mar May, um, late May, about resources that my library has concerning uh, DNA and stuff like that because the theme for the next two months at the museum is the genome. Which is very sciencey, and I'm not very sciencey, but I do a lot with DNA for uh, genealogy, so um, I'm going to be giving a lecture. So um, I went today to look at the exhibits so that I knew what they had. I was quite overwhelmed because really I'm not a sciencey type girl. I appreciate science, I really do. Um, I believe in science. I just, I'm not sciencey. Uh, you can explain it all to me, and it makes sense to me at the time but ask me to regurgitate it and I will probably get it wrong. So, um, I nearly failed chemistry in high school because of it. So, and that was the first time I'd ever not been good at something. Just, science has always been my tricky thing. I can do math, um, to a certain degree. When they start adding Greek letters and things like one plus one don't equal two, then I get a little, um, frustrated with math. So, but that's all side stuff. Um, part of the reason I'm filming late is because I was going to film last night. I actually came upstairs at 9 o'clock with every intention to film and decided to update a couple of the games that I play online and ended up falling asleep until about 12.30. Um, woke up, got ready for bed basically, and then was up until 6 this morning, which kind of sucks. Um... So tonight, I had every intention of filming earlier, and about 8.30 I fell asleep on the couch, and I woke up at 11. So I am at the horrible place in my sleep cycle where I am not sleeping fully in the night. Um, I'm sleeping in three to four hour spurts, um, which makes it very difficult. Fortunately, um, Thursday, so technically today, I have the day off. I do have errands to run, so I do have to get up at my regular time so I can't sleep in. So despite the fact that it is nearly one in the morning, um, that's not actually all that late for me normally. So um, I'm going to film this, show you guys some stuff, and then um, hopefully get to bed and tomorrow, today, um, I can get my errands run. One of the things that I have to do tomorrow is, um, because my birthday is on Sunday, um, my license is due to expire, and so I have to get a new license, um, which means a new picture, which means I have to find my tiara because 
for the last eight years, I've had a picture on my license of me wearing a tiara, and I don't see no reason to stop. Uh, the funny thing is, is they will be taking my picture with my hair um, fairly long, and I actually plan to get it cut in a couple of weeks, so I'm thinking fairly short. So that should be fun. Um, and uh, other news. <sighs> Crafty stuff. Um, I have... I think I have one thing that I finished that I can show you. Um, it's not quite finished in the sense I still have to rinse stuff off, but I did finally get to finish one of the uh, Labyrinth quilt blocks. I had actually, I have them already, all, all the ones that I need to finish um, are all ready to be done and in the sense that I have the squares cut, I have the patterns drawn, I have the sulky stuck to the fabric. All I gotta do is sew them and because I'm falling asleep at like 8.30 at night, I'm not getting anything done. I'm seriously, with within an hour or so of eating dinner, I am completely crashed out. So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, so um, I've got to go, I have to take um, the written test tomorrow, I have to take the eye test tomorrow, hence the new glasses, um, get a new picture, therefore need my tiara. Um, I also need to go to Joanne's because Rainy posted today that there was some new fabric. I was going to go tonight after work um, because my mom wasn't going to be home. She's currently doing uh, Camp Nano. Uh, NaNoWriMo, as you guys may know, usually happens in November. And then two times a year, uh, they actually do smaller camps to do um, smaller challenges. So it's not the 50,000 word challenge that NaNo is. Um, it's a smaller one. I think April is like uh, 10 to 15,000. I think the one in July is like 25,000. It's kind of to get you to build up. Um, so mom's writing her next uh, Larissa LaRue story. Um, and uh, I, I think people are really going to like it. Um, she's got she's got one of the three stories written, and um, three people have edited it so far, me included. Um, now her editor needs to edit it, but because her editor is also a writer, she's not going to do it till May. Um, and then once Camp Nano is over, Mom will start editing her second story which she's writing right now and hopefully by the time July comes around she'll be able to start her third story um, which will leave by November she will be able to um, start the next book um, I have talked to her about it and she is possibly going to be putting a couple of like deleted scene kind of things on her website um, I just kind of got to talk her into it, um, and that may not happen till May because she is currently writing. Um, so, there's that. Um, so, uh, what else? Um, birthday blocks, or not blocks, birthday swap. Um, I did get three packages in the mail this week. Um, uh, one was not uh, the... Uh, birthday swap per se, um, but I do have um, some lovely connections in Australia. So uh, let me show you what I got. Um, I got, I mentioned last week that I got a package from Rainy and I did not bring it um, upstairs um, that night. So I brought it upstairs so that I could show it off. And um, this one was from Rainy, so I got a sweet little card. And I got some sparkly green fabric, which I love. I love this stuff. And uh, I got some happy birthday fabric, which is just awesome. And then a couple of days ago, this showed up. I got a couple of fat quarters from Jordan. Um, so I got these fun dots and some sweet owls. And... Um, she sent a card and I, I just have to point out that Jordan's uh, 
Hamilton nerd like I am. So she drew me a little card. And Jordan also knows that I love her chibis. Um, I really do. I have um, a couple different things that she sent me that have caused squealing um, that are framed actually in my room. So um, Jordan, Rainey, thank you so much for the... Uh, things I think much like Jennifer I'm going to hold off and keep them all together until I have them all and then I might do something fun with them uh, the other package I got got a package from Australia uh, from Kat and she sent me some lovely postcards I always love the postcards that she sends um, they're just so much fun I actually have some somewhere over here um, that I've received in the past she sent me, I know that she sent me another calendar, but I think my mom may have swiped one because there were lots of rocks in it. My mom loves rocks. She's a rock hound. Um, I got licorice twist, which I love Australian licorice. Um, I have to be careful because I will eat this whole bag at once. Um, there was a second bag with all sorts, and I pulled them open, and mom goes, oh, all sorts, and um, I think I got a couple of them, uh, but my mom so rarely gets um, all sorts uh, so I shared them with her um, and we both we both loved them um, I think on Sunday when we go to the fabric store um, there's this little candy shop that's there that has all sorts um, but I think they're closed on Sunday so we probably won't get any more so um, she should be very excited about that and then the rest of the box is full of Tim Tams so um, this replenished my supply because I love Tim Tams and uh, I got some new flavors to try so I'm super excited about that um, usually uh, around my birthday I take a couple packages especially the newer flavors into work that's not happening this year um, and I don't want to talk about it um, but anyway so um, more Tim Tams for me so that's probably about 12 and a half minutes of me rambling um, I may or may not need bail money tomorrow because, um, today, because after I get my errands run, I am going to, uh, my dad's going to pick me up and we are going to go to a late birthday lunch, meaning late in the day, not late, uh, because obviously it's only the 6th and my birthday's not till the 9th. Um, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday, mm. um, but, um, uh, it's going to be a bit rough because I did not tell him that I went to see my sister last month and he and my sister are not, well, my sister's not talking to him. I have the feeling it's going to come up. I'm going to have to shut him down hardcore um, and I don't want him to ruin my week. So this Saturday I've got to do genealogy day. I am more or less prepared for it. I've got a couple things left that I got to do. Um, one of them is finish up my PowerPoint. That's not a big deal. I'm about halfway done with it. So um, I got to do that. And I got to finish my board, which just requires printing out a picture. Got to do that probably tomorrow. Um, I should just uh, take the CD over to um, Walgreens and print the one picture I need, but I haven't. Um, but I think that's it. That's a lot, a lot of me rambling. And I had to do it all in one go because I need to get this up so that I can go to bed. Um, so I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.